السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone uh, Today we are going to talk about uh, page 45 which is about the grammar builder But before we start make sure that you stay at home خليك في البيت Okay and your lesson will get to you wherever you are Okay let's start first with the passives and the uh, present tense and the past and the future and the model Okay, before we start about the passive, we should all know what the meaning, what's the meaning of passive. And as we know, the passive means that we do not know who does the action. Okay, let's have a quick look at the exercise here. Look at the sentence below and underline the verb construction. The verse one is done for you. Uh, verb construction, as we all know, لو تركيب الفعلية للجملة. Let's see number one. Uh, sometimes thousands of dollars are won by one person. Okay, focus here in the uh, verb to be are and look at the verb one. As we all know, the verb one is the third inflection of the verb when. Okay, خلينا نأخذ التركيب حق القاعدة هذه before we start. شوف هنا عندنا ال affirmative form اللي هو ال حق المثبت. We first use the object. Then am is are. طبعا we should all know when you are talking about yourself, you should use am. When you're talking about uh, somebody else's like he, she, uh, or it in the, in the singular form, we use as are for the plural. Last thing, we add the verb three, which is known as the past participle. Okay, uh, the main use in استخدام الأساسي for the passive is. When something is done by someone regularly, every day as expected. طبعا هنا في ال present we use the form of the of the passive like this. Okay, let's take an example. عندي المثال هنا for example active الجملة active. شوف هنا the gardener waters the flowers every evening. Okay. Before we start, قبل أن نبدأ نسوي أي شيء you have to define three main things. In each sentence, في كل كل جملة جينا لازم نعرف الأشياء الثلاثة. وش الثلاثة الأشياء؟ أول شيء define the subject. Where is the subject of the of the sentence which is? Okay. الحين عرفنا the subject. لازم بعدها نعرف إيش the object which is water. عفوا the verb which is water. A waters. Last thing we define the object. اللي هو إيش the flowers. Okay. إحنا عاد عرفنا الأشياء الثلاثة هذه. We do not need the complement of the sentence, or we can use the complement of the sentence always at the end. دائما في النهاية. شوف هنا إذا حددنا ثلاثة الأشياء هذه. If we define these three main things, عندنا ال ال one, two, three. بشكل بسيط نخليها three, two, one. The opposite. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. The flowers. أول شيء الـ object نضعه وين؟ في البداية the flowers بعدين نجي before we use the subject أو عفوا the verb before we use the verb is the object singular or plural؟ if it is singular we use is if it is plural we use are لذلك هنا موجودة عندنا am is are ها خليها في بالك talking about yourself or once uh, someone is talking about himself herself we use am Singular is plural are. هنا flowers جات لنا عندنا إيش plural. فنستخدم إيش are. Water لاحظ هنا قاعدة verb three بس participle watered. Okay هنا جاي كأنها فعل أبزة verb. بعدين في النهاية نضع إيش by. Okay the gardener every every evening. طبعا هنا لو حد يسأل لو احنا شنو باي ذا جاردن افري ايفنينج از ات جونا بي كوركت اور نوت؟ اي سيد يس ات از كوركت واي؟ بيكوز ذا سابجكت از نوت امبورتنت اوكي؟ مو مهم عندنا او ات از ايش؟ انون غير معروف اوكي؟ ليتس سي هير ذا بوك اجين ليتس جو باك تو ذا بوك شوف هنا السنتنس عندنا ذا مين برايز واز وان لاحظ عندنا هنا استخدام الوز هنا تغير في البداية هنا استخدم ال present and here he used what the past tense let's have a look at the past tense look at the past tense here it says as same same as same the present tense 
but but instead of using as uh, is or am we use what was or where طبعا معروف عندنا was حق السنجلر for the singular and where for the plural بعدين object بعدين verb three بعدين past participle okay let's see here they use the main use حق ال ال past uh, or passive in the past uh, tense something was done by someone at some time in the past okay let's take the example here the teacher corrected the mistakes هنا the teacher corrected the mistakes لاحظ هنا corrected in this past symbol okay uh, هنا نحدد أول شيء teacher عندنا subject بعدين corrected هنا the verb المستيك هنا إيش the object طبعا في البداية شو أسوي uh, نكتب هنا is على teacher بنا subject verb v Uh, the mistake اللي هو الاوبجكت نجي نسوي بدل ما هي 1 2 3 نخليها 3 2 1 ها the mistakes where استخدمنا هنا where because استخدمنا هنا where because ها ما يعرف ليش لان عندنا هنا اس بلورال لو انه سنجلر نستخدم ايش وي يوز واز بعدين كوركتد از از ات از آه كما هي بان الفعل ايش اي دي بعدين الاي الايجنت اللي هو ايش باي ذا تيشر اخر شيء عندنا هنا شوف السنتنس نمبر 4 فاينانشال ادفايس ويل بي بروفايدد تو اول وينرز لاحظ هنا هي يوزد ويل فعندنا استخدام ثالث اللي هو مثل ما قلنا بالبدايه حق ايش لفيوتشر ليتس تيك ذا فيوتشر رول شوف هنا First of all, we use the object, but then was or where, but then look now to the forming simple future passive. Look at the affirmative form and then an object plus well plus be plus verb three. اللي هو نعبر عنه بالباست participle. The main use for the future is something be done by someone in the future. Okay, let's see the active form of the future passive. We will take the horses to the stable. Okay. مثل ما تعودنا هنا. أول شيء define the verb subject and object. هنا عندنا take جات لنا as a verb. فهنا نحط على v the horses, the object at the first horses. طبعا هنا we do not need to use is is or am or where was because in the future form we use what will be. Okay, will be. But in H verb three past participle to the stable. طبعا هنا في القاعدة هنا شوف إن the passive is used يستخدم to focus attention on the person or thing affected by an action rather than on the doer of the action. Okay, often the doer is not known. The car. أعطني مثال هنا. The car was made in Germany. Okay, German, but we do not know. The actual doer of the action. Okay. Look here at the example or the exercise B. Complete the paragraph below using the verbs in brackets. Here I'm going to start with verb in brackets. In brackets, based on the tense, whether it is past, present, or in the future. Okay. Let's see quickly what was then the tallest tower in the world. Space opened by the Prince of Wales. هنا بما عندنا بما أن عندنا إيش ال sentence in the past, okay? فنستخدم إيش we use was وعندنا الفعل open يصير في the past participle opened. في الجملة الإجابة شو صار عندنا هنا was opened. Okay, let's uh, go moving on. By the Prince of Wales on March 31, 1889, the Eiffel Tower. Space built. هنا بين لنا إن الزمن الجملة إن إيش in the past. فشو تصير الإجابة هنا? The answer will be was built. Okay, was built for the international exhibition of Paris at cost of 1.5 million and is through 300 meters tall. Uh, still using the past tense. Should say the job here was chosen. Taban choose. So the past participle means is chosen from over seven hundred proposals. Although 
not everyone not everyone number four he not see tense uh, it first two and half million steel rivets okay هنا اكمل جملة لاحظ كلها they use the sentence here all in the past form for the job were used and then the verb used and the past participle to be ايش used in its construction and the tower ways هنا يتكلم عن fact اوكي اللي هو ways الحق ايش التاور فنستخدم ال present symbol without passive استخدم هنا ال present symbol ways لان يتكلم عن fact حقيقة اوكي okay. approximately uh, 7000 tons today the tower هنا يتكلم عن ايش ال present بما ان نستخدم today the tower ها huh. is visited استخدمنا is ما استخدم قلنا was because he's talking about is visited uh, visited uh, over 6 million people each year and anyone making it the trip to Paris will be impressed. بما أن إيش؟ The future, ذكر قاعدة the future, be plus past participle. فشو تصير الإجابة هنا؟ will be impressed. Okay? Uh, by the magnific uh, magnificent uh, view, almost the whole of Paris can, uh, هنا نفس الشيء استخدامها can be seen from the top. Okay, here we have some uh, little bit discussion about uh, your own uh, language, about the use of the passive and so on and so forth. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and stay at home.